If you haven't already noticed by now, but in your mail folder, there's a junk email folder where any email that Outlook considers to be junk will bypass your inbox and dump it right into the junk email folder. Where once in the folder here, if you choose to open up your junk email, you want to be careful because it could be harmful to your computer. But if you open it up, there are some safeguards that Outlook applies to any email that comes to this folder. It does prevent or stop some of the links. So if those links are harmful and you try to click on it, Outlook does have some blockages to those. So it doesn't automatically download or destroy your computer as it were. Now back to the inbox. If I do get some emails that I consider to be junk, there are two ways I can move it to the junk email folder. I mean, not just clicking and dragging, but having Outlook automatically consider it as junk. One way is to come up here, click on the Tools menu, go down to Options. On the Preferences tab, click on the Junk Email button. Go to the Block Senders list and click on Add and type in the email address. And then click OK. That's one way. I'm going to select it and remove it, and that's how you get it off the Block Senders list. Click OK, click OK. Another way, and probably the easiest way, is to simply right click on the email, go down to Junk Email, and say you want to add the sender to the Block Senders list automatically does two things. One, it moves them and dumps them to the junk email folder. Second of all, if you recall, tools to options, preferences to the junk email on the block senders, he's been added. Click OK, click OK. Now again, once in here, you can consider whether or not you want to mess with this. If not, you may just want to go ahead and click on the delete button and just totally get rid of it, not even open up the junk email. Or, if it's not junk, go ahead and select it, and up on the standard toolbar, go ahead and click on Not Junk. It says this message will be moved back to the inbox, and to always trust email from xp at dreamforce.us, click OK, boom. Back to the inbox from XP, and also Tools to Options, again to the Preferences tab, to the Junk Email, to the Block Centers list. I went through that really fast, but the whole point being is that he's still here, xp at dreamforce.us. But also, what happened is that it added the same email address to the safe senders list. So in other words, when it comes down to it, it's going to cancel out the block sender. But you may want to come in here and remove it anyways. And always, as they say, double check when somebody says they sent you an email and you haven't received it, to go to your junk mail folder first. Because if it's sitting in there and you do trust the sender, then of course you can go ahead and, like we just did, select the email once it's in the junk email, then up on the toolbar say it's not junk. And also, don't forget that when this does go to the block senders list, when you right click and go to junk email and you say add to block sender, you can also, instead of clicking on not junk here once you're in the junk email folder, you can also right click and go down to junk email and then down below also mark as not junk as well. It does the same thing. More than one way to skin a rabbit as it were. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.